first at six, keeping downtown safe. As we move into the spring, we will once again see people out and about enjoying Memphis's downtown. But that unfortunately comes after we've seen recent violence. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The most recent, a 15 year old shot and killed over the weekend. WRG Shea Arthur is live tonight after sitting down with the police officer over the downtown precinct about some of his new plans. Shay, what did he have to say? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Greg. Yeah, this colonel has been with the department for years, but he's actually only been in this role since last summer, since the summer of 2021, and he has some new ideas, some including technology as well as working with the community. The biggest challenge policing downtown is just the the sudden influx of bodies. So you think on a given weekend you're you're bringing an additional 10 to 20, 30,000 people downtown, an additional 5,000 vehicles through the course of the weekend that are coming downtown to enjoy what downtown has to offer. And this past weekend was a busy one. Sadly, a warm Saturday night on the riverfront rocked by the sounds of gunshots, followed by sirens. A 15 year old boy killed in the violence. We saw uncharacteristic weather this weekend. Uh, we thought we had adequate personnel in place. Obviously, uh, there was an onslaught of individuals that came downtown. Uh, this incident stemmed from another fight somewhere else from what I'm understanding. It was not something that occurred downtown, but unfortunately it ended downtown. To prevent events like this, Memphis Police Colonel Stephen Chandler says during the warmer months and times with big events, they increased staffing in various ways in and around Beale Street. As well as plain clothes and marked cars that are roaming around outside of Beale Street. As far as handling congested areas. We used to have a bike patrol. Uh, we were very effective with the bike patrol. We are looking to bring bike patrol back. And new technology. We are probably going to start incorporating drones to a certain extent, especially on Bill Street, uh, because a drone can give us a bird's eye view of what's going on and help us manage Bill Street a lot simpler. Potentially freeing up some officers to help with other tasks needed. See all of Bill Street. We're going to kind of take a look at how we do patrol Bill Street, where we're setting teams out and giving them specific zones with which to patrol and then the same thing with our outside. So it's like taking a precinct and creating another precinct within the entertainment district unit and sectioning that off. They're also asking for the public's help, making sure if you do come down here that you lock your doors. And also, Stephanie Gray, get this, making a big difference, these speed bumps you see right here. The colonel says since they were installed, they reduced the number of speeders and reckless drivers in the downtown area by 50%. We're live downtown tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. All right, let's hope the plan works. Thank you, Shay.